Hi. Since my last video, I have seen Logan. Hannah and Sophie and I went a few weeks ago. And I cried, and they cried, and everyone in the theater cried. We have painted our house the outside. So, one cool thing that I've learned it was in plant. Actually, I'll tell you about two cool things I learned in plant. So, first, trees some trees can clonally pr reproduce using their roots. So they can send out their roots and then sprout up a new tree. And sometimes you can tell which trees are probably clones because their leaves will change color at the same time. You can look at like a photograph of the mountains in fall and you can see patches of like red trees and yellow trees and orange trees and those patches are probably clones. Most plants have a symbiotic relationship with a fungus called mycorrhizae and the mycorrhizae will live uh, with the roots. There are two types, there's endomycorrhizae and ecto and so endomycorrhizae will send uh, bits of the fungus into the roots but mostly the roots will not be like covered with the fungus and then ectomycorrhizae. Some of the fungus goes into the roots, but it the fungus covers the roots and kind of inhibits their growth. But it's actually really cool. So the tree will give the fungus sugars and stuff, and the fungus will help the tree get water and macronutrients like phosphorus. So Tuesday, I set a trap for some bugs with Dr. Smith. We went to this place on campus that I guess it's like a few acres and it belongs to the biology department. So it's pretty big, there's lots of stuff. But we set up this, uh, it's like about five feet tall and it's made of mesh. It's like a pyramid, kind of. Anyways, basically like bugs will climb up the net part and into a sort of narrow part because I guess that's just what they do. They just climb up things. It's like just a behavioral thing that flies do. So they'll climb up the net and it'll get like narrower and eventually they'll go into a, a bottle that has alcohol in the bottom. So basically they'll just fall into the alcohol and drown. And so Monday I'll go check out that thing that we set up and see what we've caught. Also, Dr. Smith told me that spiders, like, know, they can tell that there's lots of bug activity up in that bottle, and so they'll climb up the net and spin a web in the bottle, and so then they'll catch the bugs instead of us. On Wednesdays, I, I have class at 10, I have lab at 10, it goes to 12.30, and then I go straight from there to Ryan's house, and I'm at Ryan's for two hours, and then basically I'm home. Or like it just depends like 15 minutes or half an hour and then I go back to school to go to biology lecture and then I work with the bugs but so anyways right that's where I am right now home for half an hour then I'm gonna go back to school so I'm trying to make this fast probably not no yeah I guess the next time I make a video I'll show you where we set up the traps because yeah, Dr. Smith's gonna go with me when I check it on Monday, so I probably won't take a video then, but the next time I go check, I will probably be alone, and then I can take a video, so I'll show you. I should think of questions to ask you, but... Yeah, you didn't answer any of my questions, actually, so... So I won't ask you questions? My old questions still stand? I don't remember what they were. Holidays? Favorite holiday, favorite class? Favorite thing that happened this semester? You kind of, well, you answered your favorite thing that happened on your trip, but my favorite thing that happened all the semesters. Answer those questions. I'm gonna go. So, it's, I have eight minutes until I have to leave, so, goodbye. Okay, here, um, okay, so tell us what happened, what are we doing? We're doing blood, and I was like, done. And I almost passed out, but then I didn't. And then I 
got up to get my LaRosa bar and then I came and sat down over here and then I like really passed out so. Okay.